Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. The big story... The big story, as we all know, is that people are still talking about was Trump's tweet about four freshman congresswomen racist? Well, I say, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, <laughs> it probably just told the geese to go back to Canada. <laughs> So, last night, the House of Representatives passed a resolution condemning Trump for his racist comments. That's right, Mr. President. A formal condemnation. <laughs> you watch your step, mister, or next they'll hit you with a notarized complaint and then boom, a ceremonial rebuke. <laughs> now, all the Democrats voted for the condemnation. Uh, along with four Republicans, Representative Fred Upton of Michigan, Susan W. Brooks of Indiana, Brian Fitzpatrick of Pennsylvania, and Will Hurd of Texas. Or... Yeah. Or, as they'll soon be known, Freaky Fred, <laughs> Lazy Susan, <laughs> Bitchy Brian, and I'm going to guess the black guy is uh, Frederick Douglass. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Now, Missed on now. That one. fun fact. Or fact. I don't know how fun it is. Fun fact. Uh -huh. This is the first time that a sitting president has been censured by either House of Congress since 1912, mm. when the Senate censured William Howard Taft for eating a congressional page. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But somehow... Titanic. Trump somehow saw the voters a victory, tweeting, So great to see how unified the Republican Party was on today's vote concerning statements I made about four Democrat congresswomen. The Republican vote was 187 to 4. Wow. <laughs> so great. Yes, we lost, but I covered the spread. Now, these four congresswomen are known in Washington as... The Squad. <laughs> and Trump went after the Squad directly, tweeting, They are now the top most dat 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 visible members of the House Democrats who are now wedded to this bitterness and hate. Wedded mm. to bitterness and hate. You know it's serious when Trump starts quoting his marriage vows. <laughs> oh. I It's a delicate dance for the Republicans to defend obvious racism, but they make it look easy. <laughs> and... and stupid. Take... take Pennsylvania representative and man whose eyebrows don't match the drapes... <laughs> Mike... Mike Kelly. Kelly said of Democrats, they talk about people of color, I'm a person of color, I'm white. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm also a minority because there are very few people dumb enough to say what I just said. <laughs> Mister, put him up. <laughs> he stupid it on. I'm an Anglo Saxon with a name like Mike Kelly. You can't be from any place else but Ireland. <laughs> Holy stupid. <laughs> Irish people are many things, Kelly. One thing they're definitely not is Anglo-Saxon. <laughs> you know how I know this? If my family were Anglo-Saxons, the Anglo-Saxons wouldn't have driven my family off their land to go west of the River Shannon to farm rocks. You are officially kicked out of being Irish. Please <laughs> turn in your Aaron Go Bra button, your Notre Dame pendant, and your box of Lucky Charms. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, that John. Stereotype. John, you, the, the stereotypes thing? are true, John. We, it's all we eat is Lucky Charms. We, <laughs> we make a spoon out of potato and, and 
Eat our lucky charms. I believe it. And uh, from one American of Irish ancestry to another, Mr. Kelly, we're not people of color. Under this makeup, my skin tone is uncooked calamari. <laughs> okay? I'm translucent. You shine a flashlight on me and a rainbow comes out the other side. But perhaps the dullest knife in the Republican drawer is presidential son and man who has got big gums and he cannot lie, Eric Trump. Here's what Eric told the Fox and Friends today. My father's in there and he's fighting every single day and he has to fight against the media and he has to fight against these lunatics. And guys, I'm telling you, 95% of this country is behind him in, in this message. Yeah, 95. <laughs> I'm telling you. No. Ninety-five percent is behind my dad. Okay. <laughs> okay, you better check my math. Okay, he, he lost the popular vote. Okay. Uh -huh, Lowest uh -huh. approval rating of all time, and it's a bunny. Hi, Mr. Bunny. <laughs> dad, can I keep him? Can I? Wait, come back, come back, Mr. Bunny. Come back, come back. I love you. I love you.